So last weekend, me and my buddy, David Buff, <coughs> drove 442 miles to the Louisville, Kentucky Convention and Expo Center for the 8th Annual Catfish slash Crappy Conference and Expo. It's a big daggum gas station right here. Never seen a gas station this big. Ain't never seen that much turkey. <laughs> Dang, that's a lot of gas pumps. Oh yeah, and we took my neighbor. You know my neighbor. I done told you to stay out of my pool. Riley, kill, get your tail back here. We walked up in that place like we were superstars. There's been a few people come through looking for you specifically here. Oh really? That's what I'm talking about right there. <laughs> Buff City, flex for me. <laughs> like my favorite's your pool. That's him. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Do it, Tom. I done told you to get out of my pool. <laughs> I first saw that, I just rolled. Hey, we watch you all the time. Thank you. You know who they are? No. Do it, Tom. Do it, Tom. <laughs> hey, I done told you to get out of my pool. Yeah. I got to tell you, this show is something you need to see at least once in your life. Well, why I'm at these shows, I like to look around and see if I see anything new or products that's been hacked by a company. In other words, something that's totally new that you ain't seen before. And I think I succeeded yet once again. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. I'm just saying. Station hat number one. This is an awesome new product. And some of you may have heard of it, but I've never seen it. I'm gonna let the guy that works for the company explain it, cause he can do it better than I can. Hey guys, Braden Kempton with Crappie Magnet. I'm here at the Catfish Conference in Louisville, Kentucky. I want to show you a brand new product we got. This is the eye hole jig right here. Brand new for us. Partnered up with Blake Phillips to create this. So we added our double cross barbs on there. You take your slab bites. This is your scent right here. You take your slab bites and you go to your jig and you place it in the hole of your jig just like that. Add that scent in that hole. And I'm going to grab another one. And I'm going to go on that other side of the jig. Same thing. I'm going to push it in that hole. Now your scent is in the hole of the eye. So it changes the eye color of your jig, but what it also does is you can still put a slab bite right there, but now you're not gonna have a fish come up and nip that, that bite right off. Now your scent is stuck in the hole of the eye. So now you're not having to replace your slab bites every drop. I would definitely be trying these things out. I mean, you gotta admit, that's pretty cool adding scent to a jig. I mean, it can't hurt nothing, right? Fishing hack number two. <laughs> So this is the inline dragon weight we've come up with. We're calling our company Dragon Master. It's a lot less snaggy when we're dragging through stumps and brush where we mainly fish in Texas. And it's inline, you don't have a three-way swivel, you don't have a sinker slide, something else hanging off. So this is inline dragging through the water and it's way, way less disruptive. You're not stirring up a big mud cloud. You're, when you hit brush or you hit a rock, you're not throwing near as big a moss cloud up in the water. And we're having a lot more hookup success with it. We're catching more fish off of it and it's flimsy. I mean, it snakes right through. Anything I wrap it around, it comes right through it. With our hook, being a weedless circle hook, we're dragging through brush and stumps more than we ever could. We also have this Bite Me soft EVA foam float and it has rattles in it. And what we believe this will do is when a fish overbites and they come on and they got a hold of your peg float, your demon dragon, your Livingston lure, any type of bass rattle without hooks on it, when they bite down on that or a peg float, that's hard. Well, that fish's mouth's open about this much. And when you fight him and he's pulling drag and you're cranking on him and he decides to open his mouth, his mouth's already on that float. And then he opens it this much and your hook and your bait comes flying out of his mouth and you lose that fish. So our idea with the bite me float, if he bites down on this soft float, it's super soft. If he bites down on that, his mouth's only open that far. When he gets ready to feel that tension open his mouth, now it's that. So now when your hook's coming out, you're gonna have a lot better percentage of hooking that fish and having a better hookup right. The other product we have is this rattle peg. It's a regular peg float peg, but it has rattles in it. This is our prototype. The other one's being made right now. And it'll be clear and it has BBs in it and it'll rattle. And they will fit right into the end of these peg floods. The last one we have, prototypes on its way. It actually showed up today in Texas. But this brush beater goes in front of anything that you think might get snagged on your line. So it'll go right here and it'll ride up and down 
and when it hits a crack, crevice, or a rock, this will cause it to bump and go over. And we have the prototype on our website at dragonmaster.com, but I have not lost a rig since I've been using these for the last two and a half months. With all this combined, this rig right here, with the weedless circle hook, the Dragon Master Dragon rig, and the bite me float, I'm able to drag through brush and rocks and trees that I've never been able to drag through before. I gotta admit, these Eva foam floats are pretty dang awesome. I got regular bass beads in them. They're working on a peg right now, and it's gonna be pretty cool. They are different, I'll give them that. This is Donnie Fountain, he is a professional cat fisherman. Him and his brother uses our two hook uh, double troubles exclusively. He uses at least up to half a pound fish. These are our double troubles. They are the two hooks with this one has a four inch two. And then we have our pear shaped float. And this is for your larger bait. Double troubles do come in eight aught, 10 aught, and 12 aught. They are a Dale's Tackle Blood Series Offset Circle Hook. And the tube here helps keep your line from tangling. You can put a whole fish or you can have cut bait, chunk, chunk it up, or have little snakes. And this one here is an eight aught and it has the two inch tube between it. This keeps it from twisting. Yep, keeps it from twisting and tangling, so you can. So you can. It's not even tied on there. No, no. This, this is free. Yep. That's very interesting. And those floats are huge. Yes, yes. I ain't seen those. <laughs> How much weight would that thing hold up? Um, the bobber will hold up to a half pound. Half, half pound fish. You didn't check it. Well, our, we've got a professional fisherman, Donnie and Lonnie. Uh, I mean, we a whole more. We've never tested it for sure how, how if it does go over half a pound, but he does do half pound. No, I need one. Yeah. I need one. You need one. I need one to test. Fishing hat number four. Well, this year there was a new bait at the Catfish Conference, but the bait that come out this year will supposedly last 12 months without refrigeration, which is really cool. It does say don't put it right out in the sunlight, and dang, I can't eat this stuff. That sucks. How you got done? My name's Nick Falkenberg. I'm with uh, Blue River Carp. Our product here has been out. So Official released it on uh, November 1st to the open public. Tell these pieces are very, very large, have very oil to them. We offer five different flavors. Uh, this is the original flavor. Then we have a garlic, Signature, and Shad, which are both sold out. Ours is different than a lot of products because this is a, it's rehydrated with oil. As I squeeze on that, you see that oil that's coming out of that? Mm -hmm. It's on my fingers, it'll shine. Well, this has been out for two days already. It's Friday morning. It's, it's a lot of oil that I've been sitting here playing with it. Almost every customer. I usually tell people small lakes, it's the only so piece you're gonna need all day long. So you rehydrate it? So basically we put them in a salt water brine for three yeah. days. After the salt water brine, then we dry it down to about 10% moisture. After that, then I rehydrate it right. with our oils and stuff like that. It took me over 200 tries to come up with this. There is a patent pending on it, you know, the drying process and all that stuff. But how long will it last if I just threw it in my boat? Uh, and it's going to last you 12 months at least. We at least. 12 months. Yeah. Uh, we had a test by Purdue University. I love it. said the deep competition rate uh, will be over 16 months. And that's when I started putting it on the market after that. And their test only goes to 16 months. So I don't know how long it's going to last. I have some that's uh, 12 months. It's been in my car. 100 degree days. It's right behind my seat. I can't smell it. And that's the thing. Ours you can't physically smell. It's not offensive. It's all about scent oils in the water. Versus what I can smell, my wife don't want to smell it, so that's how that works. So you got garlic confused, yep. salt cured. I'll tell you about this one. Our salt cure, we specifically designed it for drifting and dragging. The drifting and dragging has become a big item. A lot of our guides like it, and they can kind of go half and half on their baits. They don't keep trying baits all the time. Well, right now, it's very, very dry, and it's designed that way, so whenever it hits the water, that water penetrates this and the oil start coming out. Okay. So let's say I want my bait to be at 12 feet. That bait will start leaving you a thermal climb, basically. So you'll see it on your monitor, uh, your GPS unit. We tried it with uh, Garmin and Hummingbird to see a line. And we thought it was a, a thermal climb, and that could be our oil slick from our bait. So, and we can move it up and down, and you'll see that line move over time with your bait. Like right now, it's been out for two days. It'll rehydrate itself once I kind of stick it back in the bag, or if I put it in water. When you bring it out of the package, it kind of looks like that, and that's the oil that's still on the bait. Uh, you see it's very, very tough. 
you ain't gonna cut and throw this bait off. And you would cut that in half, but that's two baits. So like in our big package, that's probably 18 pieces of bait. You fish with one bait the entire day, all day long. Fishing act number five. That was good. Now this next lady, she's been at every catfish conference that I've ever been to. So her stuff's not really new, but a lot of people hadn't seen it because I only see her at the conferences. I'll let her tell you what it is. You know what I'm saying? Hi everybody, I'm Vicky. I'm Big Vic. And I have a product called Big Vic's Bait Netting. You have a strip of material. You take the strip and you tie it in a knot and you cut below the knot. And that gives you a pouch. This is really big. You would not want to make it this big. And then you flip it inside out, and you're going to put your chicken livers in here, your chicken, soft bait. You, any sort of soft bait. You could even put guts in here, um, working with cut bait. It's going to protrude through the holes. The smell is obviously going to escape. It's very, very durable, and you want the, the bait to be sticking out of the holes. So it, it looks as if there's not a net there at all. And then you're going to hold it together at the top. You're going to put your hook through. You're going to twist the top and that's going to close the pouch and then you're going to hook it one more time deeper into the bait and it will not come off. And even if the liver is eaten out of it, you can just kind of dip it in the juice and keep on using it. It will last you all day. That's my little demonstration. You can buy the bait netting on Amazon. One box makes about 100 to 120 pouches. Or you can go to my website, which is www netting.com Now how you turn a catfish raincoat into a fishing and stuff raincoat? Well, I'll show you how. Ta -da. <laughs> you gotta go to the catfish conference. That's how, cause you can talk to the man that makes them at the catfish conference, I'm just saying. Since I took you to Kentucky with uh, me and David, can I use your pool sometime now? No. 